In this video, I will show you how to control the camera in your Minimax AI video generations like a pro. Since the image to video mode launched on Minimax, I've been experimenting extensively and spending some of my credits so you don't have to. I applied a single prompting structure that boosted my Minimax generation success rate by up to 75% and dramatically reduced my average reroll rate. This technique comes from the prompting guidelines of another Chinese AI video tool you might be familiar with, Klink. These models are perfectly localized to English, but their core model training is still in Chinese. That's why, while prompting, we need to take Chinese language structure into account to improve our AI video generations. When describing a cinematic scene with camera motion in Chinese, the camera motion naturally comes in the second part of the sentence. The idea is, in Minimax, we always start with describing our initial scene and subject first. In comparison to Runway, subject and scene description requires little bit more detail. Then add camera motion in relation to our subject in the second part of the prompt. Connect these with the connecting words like while, simultaneously or at the same time. And for the second part, describing the camera motion in the correct way is also very important to reach your desired shot type. For this, I will show you some examples. In this first example, I started with this full body shot of a man in a corridor. Then I wrote the prompt, man is walking naturally. Simultaneously, camera slowly pulls in. You can also use while instead of simultaneously as a connecting word. And what we do is basically we start with our subject we are describing what's happening in the scene and then we are adding the camera motion to the second part of our sentence. By this way, I managed to get the natural walking movement of our character and in the same time I had a subtle camera pull in, zooming to our subject. In traditional filmmaking, this shot corresponds to dolly in shot. And best way to describe this dolly in shot is writing camera slowly pulls in. In the next example, I started with the prompt Woman is naturally floating while simultaneously camera moves back. The first part is very clear. I just described what's happening in the scene. For the second part, I wanted to have this dolly out effect where camera actually moves back from the subject. I tried different wordings as well, like camera pulls out or, or camera pulls back, but I didn't have much of a success. When I specified the camera moves back, I got the best result. In this next example, I started with this original image of a king talking to a group of people and I wanted to have camera motion of pan right. As you can realize, I'm using naturally or dynamically quite often. We had unfortunately a little bit of struggle with the king's hand here, but I managed to get a natural talking motion. Even though camera motion didn't start simultaneously, I managed to get the camera pan right movement. I added part horizontally just to give model a little bit of a more clue. It's not always necessary for you to add horizontal to your prompts. In this next example, I started with this initial image and I wrote the prompt, a bird lands on a woman's shoulder while simultaneously camera pans left. I couldn't manage to get that bird lands on the shoulder. I had a very subtle camera pan left effect. And in this similar example, I had a stronger pan left effect then I added horizontally to my prompt. So if you're gonna really do pan right or pan left, I would probably recommend you to add horizontally to your prompt. Again, I struggled with bird landing on woman's shoulder. And just as a reminder, in all of the examples I will show you, I always turned on prompt enhancer because in the versions I didn't turn on, the motion looked less smooth and uh, less fluid. I'm also showing you examples where I failed and couldn't manage to get the desired camera motion. In this example, I struggled a lot with this vertical camera tilt up motion. It just didn't look up and whatever I tried, it always stayed static. Of course, I tried rephasing and use synonyms as well, like camera moves up instead of tilts up. Also tried camera looks up vertically. All I wanted was man is raising his arm and camera is looking up, focusing on the fist maybe. And I even specified that, that I want to see the fist up in the air. But this was a big struggle that I couldn't get the shot I wanted. In this next example, I wanted to simulate the handheld shots, which is a very raw shot where camera is held by an operator. 
At the first part of my prompt, I specified the scene and my subject's action that she is repairing the robot. I, I used while as a connector word and I mentioned camera is handheld with a shaky movement. I came close to what I imagined as a handheld shot. It's definitely not a static shot. I think this example can be concluded as a success. I wanted to ensure that this camera handheld with the shaky movement works perfectly. So I tried with another image and you can see uh, she looks at the sky while camera is handheld with the shaky movement worked quite well. I think this is a textbook handheld shot and I can assure you that if you want to use the handheld shots, this particular prompt part works extremely well. In this next example, I tried to simulate tracking shots where camera follows the subject's movement. I wrote she walks naturally while camera follows her movement behind her. And I managed to get what I required in the second try. The first try was much more of a static shot. The dynamic movement of camera wasn't there. So I got rid of this part and I simply used camera follows her movement behind her and this worked much better. This is another example. He walks while camera follows his movement closely behind him. It's a textbook tracking shot. Worked quite well. And I wanted to also simulate the leading shot where camera actually follows the subject in a leading position in front. Unfortunately, this ended up with a static shot and didn't work that well. So I think it's very difficult to simulate leading shots on Minimax. And I also wanted to show you this because you will realize that at the beginning of the video, everything stays still, almost like time stops. This is something I observe very often in Minimax. It may be a bug or a particular issue that they probably need to fix. If I would want to use this shot, I would probably cut the beginning because it just almost looks like time is frozen. And you will observe this very frequently on Minimax. In this next example, I wanted to simulate the crane up shot. As you know, in this particular shot type, you have the camera connected to crane and then it ascends the camera up vertically, shows the landscape or environment and what's going on around him. So you can see at the first part I wrote, he is giving a speech while the camera climbs up to high angle to show vast crowd in the conference hall. I think this worked out quite fine. Only problem is we have some kind of like morphing faces and the, the initial crowd at the front looks like much more fancy and rest looks much more casual. So there were some struggle with coherence, but the, the camera motion worked out quite well. Only thing is I would highly recommend you to mention climb up and high angle if you really want to simulate the crane up shot in your videos. In this example, I started with this initial image and I wanted to simulate the orbit shot. I have the man with beard is in the forest as subject description. And then I have camera dynamically orbits around him with again prompt enhancer on. And from my perspective, this worked out quite okay. Of course, it's not a steady action, like steady circular motion, but I can say that the orbiting, at least half orbit, was there. So I wanted to give a little bit more details and tried another prompt. The first part is same, second part changed. Camera dynamically orbits around him, hyperdynamic movement in orbiting motion, subject in focus, but it didn't work out well. I think it confused the model a little bit. And I didn't get this initial nice smooth orbiting camera motion in this version, at least. By the way, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for weekly in-depth AI tutorials. Back to video. The last thing I want to show you is how great the Minimax is with displaying realistic emotions and face expressions. I think one of the strongest suits of Minimax is that natural looking emotions are realistically rendered. Only problem is that just character keeps talking and it looks like character is moving their mouth. For example, woman feels joy. And every time you write that, you will realize that the character is talking, right? So you may need to specify that she's silent and not talking. So mouth doesn't move because maybe it's a scene where character doesn't talk because Minimax is tend to make character talk, especially in close up shots or in portrait shots. So you really need to specify that she's not talking. Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. If you want to learn more about AI creativity, click here.